loves us all and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I have a really beautiful eye trick that I actually used in a video recently and you guys went crazy over. So let me show you how to do a smoky eyeshadow wing. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so in my past video that I just did, you guys said, oh my gosh, it's all about hyaluronic acid. That's the video I'm talking about. That eye look, I need to know how I do how that eye look. And I was like, okay, let's do it then. I didn't know you guys would be so into it. I'm very excited. Um, it's actually a trending eye right now. It's called the Smoky Winged Eyeshadow. And it's fairly easy to do. So what you're gonna do is I just have a random palette. You know, I'm not buying any more palettes right now. This is just the, um, uh, Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette and the Super Gloop, Super Gloop, Super Goop cream eyeshadow. So how we start this look is we're actually going to start it with the cream eyeshadow. Okay, this is just an old elf brush. Pick your favorite, but you want it to be flat and synthetic. So I'm going to pick up the cream eyeshadow. Oh, and if you're my Merle Norman girls out there, it's going to be the uh, cream eyeshadow stick in Bronze Age. Okay, so we're going to basically do the whole lid in this, in this shade. This is super flattering. If you guys use this for your next holiday party, date night, Valentine's Day, take a picture, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. Okay, and you can be kind of messy about this, but we're going to do each eye at one time because they set. Okay, so I'm just bringing it up into the crease. I'm gonna take a brush with nothing on it. This is an alter ego brush. Pick your favorite fluffy brush. And we're gonna blend into the crease. We are gonna bring it higher up onto the brow bone. Now we're gonna map out the wing. So if you guys have watched all of my uh, hooded eye tutorials or things like that, this is gonna sound repetitive, but if you haven't, welcome in. So what you want to do is you want to envision that your bottom lash line is in a straight line going out to the temple where your eyebrow would meet. That is the line that you want to go after. So I'm looking at my eye. It's kind of hard to do with, you want to look straight forward and you want to go from your bottom lash line, make that line. Do you see how that kicks out right there? More product. And we're going to fill this in and we're going to kind of exaggerate this and I'm just following the line up into the crease and you don't really want to blend this very much. I'll show you what we're going to do to soften the edges here in a second and this look can be a little more exaggerated if you want to bring out that eye if you want to. You can also do it in colors that would be even more kind of exaggerated and fun but this is basically the shape. I'm going to show you one more time again. Line straight out towards the temple. Fill that in. Okay, so this is the eye shape. I'm going to drag a little bit into a drop shadow, but only on the outer third. See how it's kind of smoky underneath there? Okay, now you can take the same brush that you just used, make sure there's nothing on it. I'm going into... Um, I need like a really light brown. Yeah, okay, so I'm going back into this Lawless palette. I'm gonna choose this color right here, and I'm gonna use very little product on this kind of brush, and we're gonna go gently, I'm barely pushing on my skin, gently over this edge. Gently, gently, gently. And you see that, how it's gonna soften that edge a little bit? Okay, fantastic. Now, to really punch the look up, we're actually going to go into that palette I was talking about, but we're going to go into this deep color right here. So it's a deep matte brown. I'm going to take it on a tiny little pencil brush, and I'm going to lay it ever so gently in the corner right here. And then I'm going to take that same brush I just used, the big fluffy brush, and I'm going to use circular motions. But our main goal is to keep most of that pigment on the outside corner. Don't you always have one eye that wants to cooperate more than the other? My left eye always gives me problems because it's smaller. Yes. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. All right. Now we're just going to go in with whatever brush. You're going to get a bone color, whatever color your skin tone is. And we're going to gently, ever so slightly, punch up this corner here. 
you don't want it to be too stark, but you want to kind of brighten this up. And then we're going to go do the same thing, but on the top. And I'm just going to refine this a little bit. All matte shades for this. Just want to let you guys see that. So see how it wings out. It's not going to do this type of wing. It's going to be this long, this wing, because what it does is it elongates the eye. It makes the eyes look more almond and more lifted. All right, so everything is on. I just wanted to complete the look for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for your interest in this look. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Let me know if you recreate it. Tag me on social media, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.